You're the same, my candy rain. Have you ever loved someone so much you thought you died? Give them some. Un Guys, unfortunately, I got kicked off and they went and let me save the video because of the jams I was playing. So if you guys are still on that chat, hopefully you're getting off now because it's not there. It's gone. Hey, hey. That's Back stupid. again with the white bands. What's up, big? Big. We got kicked off and they deleted the live. So That's stupid. Yo. Oh, well. We should be able to do whatever the f we want, y'all. Wait, it's, it's still right here. Live. Actually, it's still here. I'm still watching it. I mean, for real, though, why would they do It's our live. We should be able to do whatever we want here. Tell Kilo use oregano and sage to brew tea. I got some tea, guys. I, I'm, I'm getting better. I'm about to, um... SPM Mexican Heaven. Mexican Heaven? Do I gotta uh -huh. get my love gauge? Or yes, I'm ready, Barbara Mason. Okay, wait. Let's do this. Hold on. S-M-P. S... Oh, S-P-M. P-M. S-O... Mexican... What the heck? Cause they don't know about this. What was it? Mexican what? Hold on. Mexican heaven. Mexican heaven. That's right. S. Oh my god. SPM. His phone is kakaya. Where swiper can't swipe anything. Yeah. Okay. Bone Thugs and Harmony. Yeah. Sing that song. It's the first of the month. Stratford's in the house. Erica Nicole, what's up? Hey guys, I'm in Connecticut favorite? too. Who's your favorite? Um, can I hear a song, babe? Yeah. Put on Busy Bone. Um, Hold on, Freeway. wait, wait. I gotta do Mexican Heaven though first. And then, and then, um, and then Busy Bone Freeway. My love. You're on 4G. Why are you on 4G though? Internet. Because we lost the power from the wire. It's back on now. You can get out of it. I took the Wi Fi off. That's why it's on 4G. Is there a heaven? And if so, what's it like? What's this? Well, I see my homie Chris there. He got smoked by some fools who shouldn't be alive. I'm trying to cope, but it's just so hard. Dear God, when I see him on the boulevard, Uncle Ruckus. Can you touch your hat to the side if you want? Or do you gotta have it straight to the front? Nice. Push it real good. Okay. All right. Busy bone freeway. Hold on. This is kilos. Busy. This is my favorite um thug bone bone in harmony right here, guys. Busy favorite bone, song. My favorite what bone. A freeway. In the freeway. Either that or Thugs Cry. Which one you want to hear? Freeway. This should be my shit. Right before I moved to Connecticut, I used to bang this whole album. Freeway. Ready? Yep. Are you ready? I'm, I'm, Are you sure listen, you're ready? Doggy, I am so excited right now. All right. I love this song. This song impactful in my life. Oopsie. This one I decided. This song was one of the reasons why I decided, you know what? I deserve better. I need to go somewhere. And then he found me. It's like, I need to go somewhere where I can rebuild who Kilo is. And then he found me. Yep. This is my shit. Who else, guys? Which one of you guys know the song? Oh, I can show you. I can't even show you him. He's too far away. everything up. What's my education? My education. Oh, I'm graduated. I'm a co I went to college and I uh, got my my hair certification. Yeah. 
That Are you my, talking to me, Margaret? Yeah, I went to college. That was my phone right there, guys. Thank you. Okay. Oh, I'll be right back, baby. Yeah, we can't we can't um play too much of it because the last time they just I don't think they even let us stay on live. I think they they took it all off. Okay, wait. Single mommy, have a great night, babe. Thank you for joining us. I can't even get out of this thing. Uh, hold on. Oh, here we go. Definitely F cancer, freaking cancer. <sighs> Let me say, have a blessed night. Yes, bone thugs with the shite back in the day. I like your spirit. Um, bone thugs. Yes, quest of salt and pepper. Oh, yeah, that's right. <clears throat> His phone is so hard to type on. Um... Salt and pepper's here. Salt and salt and salt and salt and pepper's here. And we're in effect to push it real good. You were cleaning? What time is it? Oh, you're three hours. You're three hours. Um, Craig Mack, flavor. Kick it. Who's kicking that flavor in your ear? We kicking mad flavor in your ear. Never ask for a handout. No. Never, never. You could take the treatment of Hold your on, ulcerative guys. colitis in a different direction. Talk to your doctor. You know about what, Margaret? I was pill, actually when I was going to college. For adults with I was actually disease. in for human services, so I was gonna try to be like a social worker. But then they were like, oh, yeah, this is a social worker, like, DCF or whatever. And I was like, oh, I ain't trying to take nobody's kids away. No, no, no. And then anxiety and panic disorder kicked in. And then unfortunately, I made it through my first year. And then, then I went to hair school. You got to speed it up, guys. Baby, baby. Baby, baby. Baby, it's real fast. I push it real good. Push it. Push it good. Push it. Push it real good. Push it. Push it. Push it. I know it's really fast, but maybe they won't catch it. TVB, yes! You know who I really was digging? Coral. No, not Coral. Um, collage. Collage was my my joint when I was like 14, 15. I have a question for Moon Pie. Go ahead, ask Moon Pie. Okay. What am I supposed to do? Close my eyes? <laughs> See, Moon Pie, you got to come out with your channel, girl. That's what happened to me. I could start school earlier, but I anxiety, depression kicked in. But I'm starting school soon. Yeah, I did. I did the college thing. But then I got like a little discouraged because I was like, mm, I don't want to be like a DCF worker. I wanted to be like somebody who helped somebody and who worked like in a WIC office or just somebody who worked with the, with the people. But not like, I don't want to be like a therapist or anything like that. I wanted to work with my type of people, like people who were in the struggle, people who needed to, you know needed somebody to have their voice like that but i ended up not not doing it because of that and then a couple years later then i went to hair school and that was because of the push of my mother my mother was like you know melissa you always wanted to be a hairdresser 
Now, I'm going to tell you guys a little story. When I was 17, 18 years old and I was pregnant with Tony, I had to go to the state program, okay? Um, and just give me a second, we'll get back to the music. But I had to go to the state program, okay? Because I was pregnant, I was 18, whatever. And they asked me, what's your, what's your goals in life? What would you want, ever want to go to school for? And I said... Because I did, since I was a little girl, I wanted to be a hairdresser. I was influenced by my cousin was a hairdresser, my aunt was a hairdresser, my one of my best friend's mothers was a hairdresser who worked from her house in the basement. So I like, I want to be a hairdresser. And you know that person, and I am so pissed off to this day, that person, but I didn't realize it back then, said to me, that's not a real job. And so... Being 17, 18 years old, hey, Raven, I was like, oh, really? I have to pick something else? Like, I can't be a hairdresser? Like, I can't do that? Like, that's not good enough? But that was always my goal. Like, that's what I wanted to do. So I didn't do it. They, they like, pushed my, my dream to the side, and they told me that wasn't good enough. So I didn't do it. Yeah. So years go by, and I'm like, you know, I dropped out of school. I dropped out of school when I was 16, okay? I moved, I, I met Kilo, I ran with it. I was too grown for my own self, okay? Moved to Buffalo, New York when I was 17 years old, away from everybody that I knew. And I met Kilo in Connecticut. We went to Buffalo. Um, when I was pregnant with Tony, came back, and that's when I started doing my GED program. I went and I went and I went, and I kept having kids. I never got my GED until I was about 22, and I was like, you know what? If I get my GED, I'm quitting this job. I was working at Rite Aid at the time. I'm like, I'm quitting this job and I'm going to college because that was another one of my goals. After she told me I couldn't be a hairdresser, I was like, okay, well, you know, I got to finish school first. So I'm going to finish school and then I'm going to go to college. That was my next goal. So I did that. So I quit, the, I quit Rite Aid and Kila was working. So, you know quit Rite Aid and I went to college and that was the best thing even though I didn't stay in college and I didn't graduate with any any kind of degree or anything that was a stage of my life that I shot for and I shot hard because every time I went to get my GED I'd be sitting in these high ass chairs with this big giant belly and I would keep going but then I would have a baby and then I would have to stop but that year I told myself hell no and this was before Angie obviously and before Lalo and I busted my ass and I passed, um, you know, with in that first year. And then after that, you know, I went to, I got the anxiety and the panic disorder and it took me a minute to get back on my feet. And I really, really had to pull through like a good two years was taken away from my memory. Yes. But at least I had that college experience. Yes. And it was scary. You know, I went in there, had no idea what the fuck I was doing. This was before, like, I would just, I would drive to the city. I would drive anywhere. I would do anything. I was like, you know, in my prime. And I was 25 and I went to college. So, yeah. So, after that, I got the panic. I got the anxiety that pulled, like, two years out of my life that was so hard and so hard to dig myself out of. But I am proud to be where I am right now, where... I am functional. I can drive a car. It, the, my first panic attack was in a car. Okay. So that prohibited me from even getting into a car for the longest time. I could not even get into a car. Hold on. I got to open the door for Kilo. Oh. Sorry. So just so you know, when you see me, me in the car <laughs> driving and I'm driving, <coughs> That is not just like some small little thing. And there's some people who will be like, you know, oh, it's just this, you know, you just got to drive. But when you have anxiety, it is big. When you went from a point where you couldn't get in the car because your panic attacks were so bad, it just like crippled you to now being able to. I haven't had a panic attack and I don't know how long. You, you want to know why? Because I stopped being afraid of myself. So. Every small step is big. That's right. And when you have anxiety and panic, the littlest things, like if you have like a agoraphobia, agoraphobia or something, right? And you 
don't want to leave your house, but you step outside and you get the mail, okay? That's a big freaking step, okay? And and if you go a little bit further, that's a big step. And some people might not see that. Like, um, you didn't even barely step off the porch. But I did. I came out my house, you know? So to me, like, the small things, and that's what I had to do. I had to look at the little things in life that I could appreciate. Like, I couldn't control certain things. But I can control whether or not... I see that beautiful bird in the tree right there. Or it's a beautiful day outside. The weather is warm. It's not raining. It's not cold. And I could just like <laughs> breathe in the air and just <coughs> say to myself, it's a it's a great day today. Even if it wasn't, it was. Hey, every day above dirt's a great day. Thank you. So I just wanted to give somebody just a little inspiration. Just that's the backstory of where I where I came from yeah. to where I am now. Oh, so me. I did accomplish. And every day is about accomplishing new goals. You're more scared of dealing with the driving instructor. <laughs> yeah, I know. You gotta pretend he's not there. Just like we were talking about earlier, it's all about a mindset. So you just gotta. Yep, that's right. That that lady on Shameless, exactly. And then she did. I I like I felt her pain. I was never like agoraphobic. I didn't have agoraphobia. But because I fought it that hard, but exactly just like that, like, and then when she finally fought it, she was like just walking down the street, like, yeah, <laughs> I love Shameless. It is a pain. It really is a pain. But you know, you don't let you you don't you try your hardest not to let it hold you down. You keep your mind strong, and you say, you know what, I'm not good right now, but I will be. Yeah, that show is so good. I think another season's coming on. Around people, what I do in act. Wait, I missed it. I get anxiety around people and what I do in act is hard. Mm. I think that's the key. You're not sad. That's not sad. Once you don't care about it no more, ah, whatever. I have anxiety, so what? Next thing you know. It's 11-11. Make a that's wish. Like, that's how I feel like you gotta just, you gotta trick your mind. Okay. Right? I always say life is about perception. So sometimes <laughs> it's, you, just it's gotta, really you just gotta know how to be able to trick yourself. Yeah, sometimes it's harder than that. So, like, so what? So I got anxiety. Big deal. Yeah, sometimes it just. I made it to your live, Anne Marie. Hey! It's, oh my God, it's five o'clock in the morning where she is. What'd you do? Uh, move? She set her alarm. You moved and like woke up and was like, let me check my phone. Oh shit, Melisandre's on. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Christina. Jeez, Questa. You're in the, um, you're in, not the future. Yeah, you're in the future. No, you're not. I'm in the future. I'm in the future. I wish I was where you were. It's like, it's 12-12 here, too. You got bullied. Bullied. Being bullied sucks, man. Bullies suck. California. I went to California before. I had to well, go I for my father's a, funeral. I was watching a comedy with Chris Rock. Mm -hmm. And one of the jokes was, you know how you know how now they're trying to get PM? bullying out of schools. And he, he said, he jokingly said, but a bully taught you life lessons. Mm -hmm. And I and I kind of believe that. It can teach you. Like you gotta be, you gotta put yourself in <clears throat> in awkward situations sometimes to kind of see where you're at or how far you've grown. Because we all go down, but staying down, staying down is up to you. It's okay to That's fall. That's right, Mimi. It's okay to trip. You just it's gotta okay push to yourself. stumble, but it's never okay to stay down. That's right. Yep, I agree. Because if I would have stayed down, like, listen, the people, when I went through my panic... I went to the hospital. I was like, listen, I'm going crazy. I'm going crazy and you need to keep me here because I'm going crazy. And they looked at me and they're like, honey, you're not going crazy. <laughs> I'm like, yes, I am. Keep me here. Don't let me out until I'm better. But she sent me home, of course. And she was like, you're fine. You're okay. You're just having a pan you know, panic attacks and whatever, panic disorder, whatever. But... I made it a point to just not stay there 
because if I did, if I let myself stay there, that's what, that that's was my what point. Lose. That was my point. Okay. So I go see a, you know, a psychiatrist, a psychiatrist, not now, but before. And she said, you know, she was really proud of me because most people in my position wouldn't have came out that so quick. So at that point I was like, because I pushed myself to drive. Like I would drive five minutes. Not I wouldn't even drive. How long? I would get in the car and drive down the street, right? You'd be like, I did it. I got in the car. I drove down the street and I'm good. You remember that? Mm -hmm. I was telling them. Yeah. You know, no. So every tiny step counts. And then and then here's the thing. And I feel like this is what helped Melissa too. What helped me? You tell me. <laughs> okay, so you're, so you're scared to drive, and there's all the, you have all these anxieties about driving, right? And then one of your babies are sick and they need help. Oh. You don't even think about that drive nope. no more. Nope. You think I'm gonna protect my baby, I'm gonna save my baby, right? And you're able to overcome. I feel you on that. I don't want to say disability, but you're over, you're able to overcome that thought process. Oh, I could have got disability for but for I'm mine. Just saying, like, I said, mm -mm. There, there's the mindset. Okay, normally I will have a hard time driving, but if it came down, if it thing? came down to saving one of my kids, I would jump oh, in this car and, and I will get down there. Like so I don't like strengthening yeah, that mindset. I don't know? like to drive far. If I have to drive far, like I put in my brain, like okay, I could drive twenty minutes, but if I need to for one of my babies or somebody that I love, I, I could do it. I could exactly, do it you because I don't think about, think about it. You just go. And that's that's where you need. To, I feel like I wish people I could with go to anxiety. England. And stuff like that, that that's where they want to get to. to just, just the understanding that I'm going to get anxious, but it's also temporary. If there was something else, then, you know, it would it would um, null and void that anxiety. So that could be a way of, of inner strengthening ourselves to be like, well, if I was actually forced to do this, I could do it. And then, yeah, and then, and then so it's about, it and then it's about, Putting yourself in those in those awkward positions that normally you would falter to see where you're at, to see your growth, and 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 to and to reassure you that listen, it ain't the end of the world. No one has to be perfect, man. No one. No. Nope. Did this world make you think like you're supposed to? You see the beauty tips and all this other stuff, and I mean, w women nowadays they have just a palette full of makeup on their face. That no one wants to be beauty. No, um, no one wants to have natural beauty no more. Hey, I look like shit just a little while ago. I'm My just, makeup. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not saying it for that example. I'm just saying like. Yeah, you don't like you don't like a lot of makeup. You gotta find ways. You gotta find ways of empowering. Listen, your mind found ways of making you anxiety. Now it's up to you to find ways to overcome. Sometimes it's not your mind. Like you don't make it up. Sometimes your mind is just, it goes uh, like a, a loose wire. Loop, uh, I know, but you still got a circuit and your brain is like, wait a second, I can't order, take this. But in order to come back to that focal point, you have to, that's why I always say mind. Not say, saying it like your mind, you can't control it when it happens. More like if you could tap into your mind, maybe. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. Maybe sometimes you your ways. body just reacts to just Everybody gets, emotions. Everybody gets anxious. It's just about how they go around being anxious. Some people close up. Some people get defensive. And other, people, has and other people act like they don't, that it doesn't affect them. Guys, I'm going to show you something. My mom got me this. My mom got me this. I almost cried when she got me this because it made me think of you guys. She bought me this. Poster right, I mean, there's some um, picture frame right here. Do you see it? If you can't read it, I don't know if it's backwards or not. Be the reason someone smiles today. I thought that was like perfect for me because honestly, that's why I come on here every single day and I try to get you guys videos every day. And let me tell you, it's hard, okay? Sorry. It is, it's getting very hard to keep up with everybody. You know, and you guys know, I love to comment back. I love to have, like, a connection with everybody. Nick, and it is it is getting hard. Oh, okay. It is getting hard to just juggle everything. So I might have to go to, like, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, just so I'm not, like, killing my brain. Because 
my neck is finally okay. And guess what? The whole reason why I was stiff like that was from editing. It was from editing videos. Like you think, like some people think that being on YouTube is easy. Like people who just throw out their videos, maybe. Maybe it's a lot easier for them because they're not sitting there editing. But when I am doing my editing and I'm cutting and I'm putting music and I'm slowing shit down and I'm doing all that, it's hard. It's not It's not easy. Right? A lot of the time. I agree. I am editing. Cause and it's I like, could it's do like it pretty you record, quick. But... You record uh, an hour worth. Let's just say you record for an hour. But then you're editing for five. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to try to do every day for as long as I can. Like, I have another video for tomorrow. But if I cannot do every day, I'll try to jump on live for you guys. All right? What do I use to edit? I use most of the time, well, most of the time I use my phone. Um, I have Kinmaster on my phone that I paid, and I think I paid. You did pay for the Kinmaster? I did. How much did it cost? Like $5? No, it costs it costs forty dollars for the whole year. Forty dollars for the for the whole, whole year? year though. For the whole year, um, and that gives you like you don't have to have the water stamp or whatever and things like that because wow. I'm always using my my phone. That and I use uh, CyberLink Power Director, and I want to be able to show you guys how to download. The Cyberlink because there's a free one, but then there's some guy and I listen. If you search it up, you could find codes, okay, where you can get the free version. So I'm just saying, <coughs> if you are a YouTuber and you're trying oh, to do throat. this, then look for the codes. Right. You know, just Google them. Google them. Be serious, though. Shit, if you're gonna spend that money, be serious about it. It's Mimi's life. Thank you, babe. Mimi's no, life. No, I don't think I'll ever overdo it. If I can't do something, then I'll just not do anything. I, I cannot, I can't be the one, like, I'm not the type to just fake anything. I can't, I can't, I can't fake it. I can act. Like, if you ask me to act in, like, act Sorry, a, a, um, a character or whatever, like I do Mildred or whatever, then I could do that. But I can't like come up with some lie because I can't keep the lie going. And this is just not me. I just can't. That's just not how I roll. I just can't. Wow, I never. Two hundred and three subscribers now. Two hundred and three. How that happened? Whoop, whoop. Guys, how that happened? You were on live. I had one hundred and eighty-two when I started. Thank you, Mark. No, I got 203 subscribers. Get your oatmeal game back up when Kilo gets better. Use Thank what you, you got to get where you should be. We're trying. We're it's trying. It's baby steps. You know what? You got you to gotta, you gotta appreciate the process, right? You can't sit there and be like, oh, I need to do better. I need to. You got to enjoy. I got 200. Oh, that's so cute, Dusty. I got 203 subscribers. You got to enjoy the small steps. Remember we told about self-confidence earlier? Yeah. That's how you develop it. Hey, Stacey. Little goals at a time. Set goals every day, guys. Don't think you're too old or you can't. Stephanie said you only had 150 when she subbed. Yo, see what I'm saying, Steph? And hey, listen, I'm going to be honest. I feel really honored because I'm not going above and beyond to, to get subscribers. Trust the process. Yep, that's what it and is. And enjoy, enjoy the journey. Because the end product is done. You're chasing somebody. You finally get them like, eh, all right. You know? You want that one dress. It's, you take everything. And then you got it. You don't like, even eh, have lemon whatever. juice. You got to enjoy the journey. Yeah, that's what it is. Don't come on here. Do not come on YouTube trying to make money because it ain't going to happen. Nope. Because then you only, you're going to sit there because you have no. expectations. Anne -Marie, and no, Anne-Marie, no, I never. you're always like, man, I'm falling short, you know? I would love. I would love to go to England, but nope. I never. I would love to go to Asia too. Yeah. Uh -oh. Somebody else just asked me that. Um, Antoinette. Antoinette. I think just said views that. Forty-eight to my new video. That's love, bro. Six comments. Yeah. I never. I oh, went to California. I went to Florida when I was a kid. Oh, I took the package. Oh no! I trust you. I trust you. Um, we're in Connecticut. Just remember that because I know that the P.O. box, she will be so excited. I'll do a video for it and everything for her. Um, I will definitely pray for you, Margaret. 
I will definitely pray for you. And I will think about you. When I don't want to make a video, I will think about you, Margaret. And I will say, I'm going to get on because I know Margaret needs me to uplift her today. <laughs> but you may not get an uplifting video from, from me every day <laughs> because Melissa goes through the struggle too. Do you, you know what, guys? That boils down. Margaret, to, you live in Milford. Listen, Milford where? That boils down to everyone finding Sure, Augustine. Purpose. Of course you can. She we would need love purpose. it. When we know we're important to someone else's life, it helps us to get over our own insecurities. Listen, Big Hump wants to tell you something real quick, okay? Talk to me, Bigs. I'm on you, Kilo. Stop saying you're on coattails. You both are kindred spirits, separate and together. Blessing to the fam and to the flip, flip sider fam. They don't watch you because of me. When they're watching your videos, they, they know do. they're not going to see me. They do, though, guys. No, they don't. You guys are sweet. Kilo, hold I'm on a to, second. I'm trying to build up my self-esteem. No, see, I love it. You guys he thinks cute. he knows. He huh? thinks he knows. He got it in his head. That's why you're a genius. Right. Huh? You're the man. Now, and, you, and you know what? You're right. I'm not on the coattails. We are parallel down the Margaret, floor. you're in Connecticut? Look, Miss Moon Pie said, oh, we like Kilo too. <laughs> they do like you. Why do you think they sub to your page? They're not going to just sub to your page if you're boring. You're not going to get the likes that you great, have. Girl. Listen, he was like, wow, I got like 119 views. That means almost half my people were watching my... Yes, no. they're not going to watch it if you're if you're boring them. You know what? That's more important to me. Confidence. Like, remember, Kilo? That's what Miss Moon Pie just said. No doubt. No, 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 no. You got to understand. I got confidence, but I also know... Thanks. I also know the importance of staying in your lane. Kilo, stop it. We like you, man. I, 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 guys, I appreciate the love. So, so then don't say you're riding saying, on my coattails. I'm you're just not. Saying, the reason why the reason why I say that is because I just do it um, in my free time. We gotta meet up, Mark. My wifey. If my you're wifey, in Connecticut, we definitely is what gotta my meet wifey up. Does and that's why I say that though. Yes, yeah, she likes LOL toys. She definitely does. Oh, she's gonna be so excited. How did all those toys get popular? Right? And she'd be like, "Oh, LOLs." I'm like, "What?" Miss Moon Pie says, so take the compliment of subs and views that you earned. I do. You earned them, she and said. Listen, you didn't hear how excited I was? I was like, yo, I got 203 My ear subscribers. Itches. I better not be catching and, your cold, and dude. And what I love about it, and I, this is what I was trying to, like, this was my point. I had 187 subscribers at, at whatever time, right? And I had 160 people watch my video. Like, to me, that's important. <coughs> There's some people that have freaking 10,000 subscribers and they got five views. Yes, just remember, you know I'm, I'm in it's Connecticut. Like... CT. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Oh, my, my God. Just gets you sound like you're dying. <coughs> I'm about just to put one it minute, in there. Why she just gets mad dry? I'm about to put it in the description, guys, the, um, the P.O. box. And I love you guys, but you know what? I also know what's... what. I think it's important for everyone to know their own flaws. And my major flaw is if I feed my ego a little too much, um, I will Your lose. Your head will blow up. I will lose my um, authenticity because I'm gassed up. You know, I get, I'm inner gassed up, and that's why I. To me, that is the real meaning of humbling yourself. We all know what, what makes us work, and we also know what makes us don't work. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I know my glitches. Remember I was talking about my wifey's earlier? Well, I got glitches, too. I ain't perfect. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I got things that trigger my shit, too. I got feelings, okay, too. So you know what I'm saying? Um, everything's in the description for the people. But I do know that my ego, if it's fed a little too much. My ear the, itches. My, I better not be getting sick. My reality will become distorted. <laughs> and I don't need that in my life. I want to be, I want to always feel like What's my I'm major a dollar flaw? short I don't even know what my and major a day late. You know what I'm saying? That way I'm always on my P's and Q's and I'm always trying to do my best when any opportunity strikes because, you know, I got a lot of people in my house. I got my daughters, I got my sons, I got my wife. And at, 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 a, at a moment notice when they say my shit is fucked up, I got to be on point, ready to go. And that's where I'm at. Now, if I'm feeding my own ego, I ain't got, I ain't got time for their problems. Shit. You know what I'm saying? It's all about me. So, 
I know how to humble myself. I know I know how to stay in my lane. I told y'all that before. I know how to stay in my lane. That's one of the best things that I do. My, I think I think that my biggest flaw is I. I talk too quick, I think. Yeah. You talk too quick with Ebony. I like talk before I think. Oh, yeah. We all got that problem every once in a while. I think that's. No, but like that's all right. I've learned, I've learned. Got gotcha. you exactly. We all know our own. We all know as our I own grew. weaknesses, right? And that could be something that you feel is your weakness. You know, oh, I, you know, I talk before I speak. You know, <laughs> I'm sorry, boss, mama. I am sorry. Did you get some good stuff though? Did you get your money's worth? That's the that's the best part. Gotta get that buddy. Hey, dirty. It's day. called being grown. There you go. Exactly, and and I love being a parent because it makes it very evident. There you go, boss, mama. Very easy to remember. You're on center stage. No matter what you do, you have all these eyes looking at you. So no matter what you say, it's more what you do that they follow. And I say. I say these are all our own tools for us. They're not even tools. You know what they are? It's like, you know how you go into the garden and your rose bush is beautiful, right? But it still needs to be trimmed. We'll do that, Mark. There's still a couple of plants that need, there's still a couple of leaves that are a little too far. And as people, that's what we do too. Sometimes we're always we're always reaching to the sun. Sometimes to show real beauty of our growth. You, you know gotta what? trim back a couple of things. You know what I'm saying? Mental health is a silent killer. Um, it is, but it's also what's going to define you. Bipolar 1 and 2 and schizophrenia. Wait, I have mental health. It's a silent killer to me. I have bipolar 1 and 2 and schizophrenia. It's hell. Family, friends treat you like a child. I'm still working, but I wasn't yeah. when I was manic. Because they're, all all they're all in um, shells. What are they, eggshells? You know? Yeah, they're all on eggshells. Yeah. But all all you could do is just know that what you're doing is good enough and it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks about you as long as you know your mental is okay and you are fighting. Yeah. And you're taking your medicine and you're doing what you need to do. And you know what? And they might need you to teach them like what helps you. Because like they don't, I, I mean, unless I'm wrong, correct me. You know what I'm saying? But they love you. They just don't know how. They don't know how to address it. It's 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 unknown. So Dusty, don't probably be so you fast. Have, um, don't be so fast to be mad at them. Teach them. Um, let them know. So that way, because listen, the worst thing is that everybody pushes each other away. They need to be taught what helps you through your whatever. You know what I'm saying? And that takes. That takes us to be able to look in the mirror and be honest with ourselves. And listen, you know, don't ever push away somebody who loves you. You know, uh, parents, brothers, sisters, um, wives, girlfriends, best friends. Did I say that? No. But don't be so quick to be mad at them or be so quick to not be you because you're afraid of how they will react to it, right? Right teach them be patient understand that no one can understand it unless they're going through it like i can tell you my back hurts but unless you got back pain you, you're like oh, okay your back hurts, yeah nobody's whatever. really gonna understand what you're actually right. going through so be patient with them but educate them take that opportunity to teach them and they well the fellas that follow msl melissa lopez Melisandre Lopez needs you, pimp. We hear you loud and clear, but we love you both. F and F, F it. Give me that that man's vision of a great couple. <laughs> and we all deserve happiness at the end. That's my goal. You want to ask Kilo? Kilo, what do you want for everybody? I want everybody to find true happiness. That doesn't mean a perfect life, guys. That doesn't mean a perfect relationship. That means you're just willing to fight every day with love. Uh, Raven, I think I think you're totally right. A lot of people try to throw that word around a lot. A, that word around a lot. Like, you're bipolar. Just because they think it's like some terrible thing. Like, oh, you're bipolar because your emotions go up and down, whatever. Right. It is nothing to be, to be nope. thrown around like nope. that. Nothing to be ashamed about. Be 
no, no. But a lot of people try to say that when a woman has um. Yeah. So we just call it PMS. Oh, she's, oh, the she's the kids, even the kids, be like, "My, you, you got that. <coughs> you got that." He gonna be like, "Oh, it's that time of the month." Yeah. I'll be like, "No, it's not." But you know, a lot of people just try to just throw that word around a lot. I don't agree with it though. I agree that people do throw it around, but you know what? Thank you, Amber. That word, that word, that word is only impactful or only as hurtful as you give the power to that word. So don't give that word power, because the person that's using that power doesn't understand. The person that's using that word doesn't understand Aww. the impact of using that word. Anne Marie said, "You make my life so different, Melissa. I love your channel and Kilo. Thank you so much. You have said more to me in the last minute. You're so right." You said more to me than my friends and family all. Uh, and I got you back. You know what? You're not alone. And we right here. We ain't going nowhere, right, boo? No. We ain't going nowhere. So, shit. Access, I pick, pick our brains away. That, that's what we're Listen, here for. Listen, if to anybody needs to, like, if anybody needs to, if anybody wants to write me, you know, maybe you don't want to contact me on social media, write me a letter. Write me a letter and we can write back, you know, that way it's like old school, you know, and I like going to the post office and finding a letter. I don't mind letters, you know, just tell me about yourself and maybe something that you want me to know if you ever need to talk, you know, and I, I could be that, you know, because some I, I'm able to talk, maybe not about everything, you know, because I'm on social, social media, but you know, I still talk. I still, I still tell you my experiences you'll and never, what I go through. And you'll never find somebody with a bigger heart, with more understanding, with don't with you make me strong cry. shoulders. Don't you make me cry, Kilo. She, she, stop she it, stop it, don't stop it. <laughs> Don't you make me cry. No, go ahead, go ahead. That's my boo, y'all. <laughs> That's my Adrian. We all need Adrian. That's Adrian. my Adrian. So, yeah, for real. That's And that's exactly why I thought my baby started this page. For these moments right here. We, drama is always around us, but it's not people building us up no more. There's no more positive role models you, out Dusty. here no more. There's nobody, you know, there's people trying to give you advice, right? But they not, but they're not living that life. Nikki D, that's right. You See don't let saying? it stop you. That's all. That's right, and that's what we're all here for to make sure that when you feel like you can't go no more, we say you got one more step in you. You know what I'm saying? And I love it, man. You know what, uh, Margaret? God has already blessed us because I would have never thought that I would be here being able to talk to people that I could actually relate to and have. It's been, okay, we've been on live. I don't even know what time is it. What time is it? Okay, it's 12.30. We've been talking to you guys for two hours. And I can honestly say that I am sitting here and I'm enjoying, enjoying talking to you guys and learning about you guys and all of the above. So I can't ask for anything more than that. And, and then we can be honest with each other. That's what I like. Yes, ahead, and we can be honest with each other. You know what I'm saying? Yep, we can be honest. That's the major part of it because if I'm like, if I have questions, that's just who I am. If I have a question, I come out of my mouth and I ask the question. And, and she gets those. Answers. I always want. And that's why I love her. <laughs> yeah. And I always want anybody who follows me, who's a flip sider, to be able to ask me a question and me be able to answer it. And I. Never want to feel like I have to hold back. And that's why I will always come on here and speak the truth with you guys. So, and I can only wish that you guys will do the same with me. And I appreciate all of you. And it doesn't, I'm already blessed. I truly am. I feel very blessed. I do too. You know, I, I came to, a I long way to, to be this. here. Okay. I came a long way. And it's because I didn't give up. And I needed this. So anybody who needs to make a channel to just, I, I tell everybody, you might not have a lot of subscribers at first, but you're doing it for the love and you're doing it because it's your hobby and it's something to wake up you and, feel good. and do every day. It gives you purpose. Okay. When you have a disability, okay, let's say you can't work. 
you have a disability and you don't really do much all day, but <coughs> make yourself a channel. There's like 100,000 other people just like you. Yep. That's, right here on YouTube. That's waiting for your page to start up. Yep. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Always remember that. I'm not the only person that thinks. And like we have this. a support group. Our YouTube Flipsiders. I've been sending flip all my side. all my Flipsider peeps to go see Questa, um, Questa's page. Yep, Questa. Fabulous moms of YouTube. Vicky. So Fabi, no Questa has a Facebook well, I'm page. A bunch of, I'm just trying to say like a bunch of people. Questa has a Facebook page called uh -oh. Fabulous gotcha, Moms gotcha, gotcha. of YouTube. And if you want to become a YouTuber just to have a hobby and just try it out and see if maybe it could uplift you and find other women who might be going through the same struggle as you, go find her on Facebook. Tell her that I sent you and she will accept you. No doubt. And, and you know what? And remember that your story is important. Your voice is loud. We just got to condition it, you know? Shit, I'm one of those new, new, new YouTubers. It's Mimi's life. I'll be waiting. Just let me know. If you have an Instagram or anything, just let me know when to head to the, the P.O. box. Because I don't go there every day. Because y'all know I don't really like to drive. But I did go there today. And Angie got her letter from um, her little friend. And everybody keeps thinking that when I say Olivia, say hi to Olivia. I, I mean, I mean Angie's little pen pal friend, Olivia. So just so you guys know, it's not that. Olivia, trust me. Yeah, we're getting past Olivia, are we, guys? Oh, we're past. So that way, we, we don't are have to done. Worry about that no more. I said case closed, so we yeah, we are yeah, exactly. totally done. Hold on, exactly. I'll be right. I'll be right because back. Because our vlogs, see, most people they rely on the drama, so they'll they'll um they'll create it because they need it. They need it for their channel to grow. Um, the problem with that, though, right, is that once you start going strictly with the drama eventually you're going to have to cross the line and usually you hurt the ones you love so eventually you're going to hurt somebody inside your own home and listen youtube ain't that important to fuck up home i mean excuse my language home is sacred home is the one place in this world that you need to protect with your life okay and when I say your life, I mean everything that makes you, you, is what you throw to the table when it comes to your family. So that, you know, needs to be number one. You it's sound like, terrible. <laughs> I feel terrible. My nose is stuffy. You don't like feel said, a little bit better? I feel, I feel ten times better than I did five days ago. But it's all, it's like it went from the whole body to like just the back of my nose and my throat. But I don't want to forget what I was trying to say because Sorry. the key to finding your happiness or finding your finding your way through or finding your anchor is 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 um, self empowerment. So anything that we could use to empower ourselves, <clears throat> use it. You know, A any small goal or accomplishment or Think that you said, man, I could never do this, and then you do it. Use that. Sh use it and make it big. So you can understand the impact. I think that's the that's the main problem is that we don't we we think we're background noise when really we're the main the main obstacle, the main focal point, you know? I can't remember the real point I was trying to make. <laughs> Cause we started talking about my nose. <laughs> They'll remind but, you. Ask them. <laughs> but I do want to make sure that I, I believe, if I remember correctly, my main point was to self-empower yourselves. Self-empower yourselves. Yep. No matter Be what. Be self-empowering. Build up that self-confidence. And just be loved, man. I mean, yo, there's enough people out here messing up the world. I think that's what the point was. Some people need that drama to keep going, right? I... What I love is that me and my wife, we can use this platform right here and, and kind of plant seeds. And, and, and we're kind of part of the, we're, we're, we're part of the regrowth. But the problem with being part of the regrowth is that drama sells. People rather hear the drama. So those, those pages are going to blow up. 
But I feel like longevity is what we're aiming for. So stick to just being real. Connect to your peoples. Um, stay true to yourself. Say what you want to say. Don't worry about the drama. Because I feel like eventually, you know, love conquers all, they say. And, um, man, keep striving, keep striving, y'all. Remember, yo, just because you think it doesn't mean it's just you thinking it, man. It's, it's a hundred thousand other people thinking that shit, too. I'm cursing too much. Let me read a comment. That's all right. Hold on, guys. I got told that all the time <laughs> I'm going to be writing to you, girl. I like that. I love Rocky. <laughs> I love Rocky too, bro. You saw me. You saw me having my whole conversation, right? <laughs> yeah, let me get back, babe. You saved me. Is that what that said? Oh, hey, that's okay. I think we might have to go down. We save each other. No, here, love oh, you. Wow. I love, yeah, they've been commenting. Okay, thank you so much. Oh, they can do it. I can do it. No doubt. And see, that's what I want to be about. E e even if it's not popular, listen. If love ain't popular. I still want to be on that squad. Raven said 100. I don't want to be part of the drama. I hey, want to be Susie. part of rebuilding. I want to be part of us finding a new perception. Because that's all we got to change. Life is all about perception. <laughs> Nikki D, drama stresses me the hell out. Listen, <coughs> we all got drama. I'm too old for that drama. Uh, no, we, we all got drama, okay? I got kids. I got kids who go through their own shit. And let me clarify something, because I don't know if anybody on here knows, but Ugh. there was an allegation towards my son that someone had said that he's on probation. He is not on probation. If you look back in the vlogs, you will see <laughs> my son got arrested because he stuck up for himself. He was being bullied, and somebody came up with him with a BB gun, and my son didn't take it. My son fought him right there, out in the street. He threatened my family and everything. So... We went to court, and they obviously took my son's side. So there is no type of probate, probation for my son, Lelo. So just to clarify that. But we do. You know, we go through some shit. Like right now, we're going through a situation with my son, Tony. He's about to be 18. We're trying to prep him for real life. You know? And that's that's hard in itself. You know what I mean? And, and he... he Thought he was going to be grown and he wanted to leave. And so we let him go. What's up, buddy? We let him go. And then I told him, you better get your ass home because he missed school. And I was like, uh-uh, you ain't going to mess it up. You do it the right way. So don't think that we're trying to be, like, perfect. We are not perfect. We have our drama, trust me. But we don't sit and soak on it. We do have good kids. Thank God we have good kids. My kids still listen. Like my kid, he's about to be eighteen years and old, and he point. still asks. He see, still asks me if he can go out. Like Tony see, wanted to sleep at his friend's house. Point, though. Yeah. You're saying basically my point. Okay, the I'm clarifying. I'm clarifying is, your point. Yeah, exactly. Yes, and that's what I will continue to be is real. I'm not going to sit here. I do not want people to think, oh, like everything is. Uh, of course, of course, we have our family but, issues and our our everyday struggles. We do. Just like everybody else, so. Yeah, but once again, drama, drama, all that, all that she's talking about right there. See that? Who don't? That's, that's right. called that's called normal drama. Right. And that's what you want in your life. That's normal. You want Not all like... the normal drama. When you're doing the extras and getting extra drama. Right. That's, that's is a different. big killer to face. When we have to come on here and be like, oh my gosh, like guess what happened now? And guess what happened now? Or and or or I gotta worry about if she's cheating on me. Or she gotta worry about if I'm cheating on her. No. Or or You'll you know never what I'm hear that from from me and Kilo. You'll but, never you know hear that. That's a natural drama. We went through that junk a long time ago and those are those are stories for another day. But um as for right now, we've been together for twenty years. It's gonna be here. it's gonna be twenty years in May. I think May 13th or something like that 20 years that we've been together and That's we've crazy. been through it all we got stories don't we got <laughs> stories okay i think the other and that was my point shit ain't listen nothing's ever gonna be perfect mm -mm. you gotta be willing to go through the struggle but you gotta be willing to be you gotta be willing to fight to stay together and you gotta be willing to fight fight to, to stay together that's what it is to, that's to, what it's about to continue to grow right you gotta continue you gotta want once again, not nobody knows everything. 
but you want to do you do want to control the drama. All right. So so the problem the issue is our son is at an age where he's about to become a man. Those are dramas we can handle. Those are dramas um those are dramas based off of love. He's our son. He's about to be a man. It's 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 lessons that mm. we need to learn. Dusty, my disabled daughter did the same thing to me and never came back. I raised her right. She just met a wannabe redneck. Laugh out loud. She's 19 and she's mildly mentally handicapped. Yeah, and at that point, at that point, you really cannot. If tough, she's man. 19 years old, you really cannot stop her. She's going to go and you can't stop her. And but I hate that. thank God, thank God, my son is still under. He respects us as parents. He knows. He knows that we. Are as coming at him. I I know. As long as you did. I remember being that young, you know. As long as you did. Listen, this is my thing because I don't think like that, you know. But <laughs> what I think is this. If you did everything that you could do to build them up for them to become this strong, Thank you, ignorant person, then you did your job. You know what I'm saying? And it's unfortunate, though, because here's, this is what I'm learning, too. This is what I've, I'm recently learning. And I know I got to go through it. I went through it twice, and I, I, I got to go through it two more times. But eventually, for whatever reason, no matter how perfect of a parent we are, we will still end up being the enemy because we're, we're the parents. Mm. We're the structure. We're the no. Like, I don't know, think I don't think he sees rules. us as an enemy. No, I'm of not course talking they, about, they hit on. a certain age and they're like, oh, I'm okay, I don't need myself, to. Right. I'm no. talking in general. Just like I left my house at 16 too, and I, I met Kilo at 17. At 18 years old, I graduated from high school. Yes, I 20 house. years we've been together. 20 years. I'm showing my age right now. No, I'm not 20 years old. I know you guys thought I was in my 20s, but no. Wait, what? You're not 20? <laughs> I lied to you for 20 years. Holy moly. <laughs> yeah. That's what I feel. I feel I didn't do right for her. No. No. She. Then there's you nothing left. you can do, Dusty, if she left. There's nothing you can do. Dusty. You have to let her take her cycle. And everybody has their journey in life. And just like my mother knew she couldn't stop me. Listen, I left at that age and I never came back either. I never did. But I have a very good relationship with my mother. Right. So you did come back. You have a great relationship with her. She has I do. a better relationship with her. No, but some people mama. some people don't. But Dusty, Dusty, um, if you did if you did everything that you were supposed to do, right? Just be patient. She just needs to grow a little bit more. Because eventually Wait. all children are going to uh, Nelly realize. Said, Nelly said that's not necessarily true. I don't know what she was saying. What do you mean, um, Nelly? What's not necessarily true? If you know you did everything right? Maybe that's what she was saying. Uh, I don't know. We about said what so you much were stuff. saying? We I know. So I don't stuff. even remember what we said. But you can verify that. But I want to give Dusty hope, because Dusty, if you're a great mom, and you know what? Let me tell you, because sometimes I feel the same way. Like children just become so selfish, overly selfish, right? But I still want to say one day they're gonna realize. They're gonna no. I don't want to say realize. Oh, okay. Listen. They're gonna gain understanding so this is what Nellie was talking about my 18 and a half year old still lives at home with me follows the rules works goes to college that's awesome. pays bills and still follows the rules we still have a great relationship yes that's what you I was could be, you could be the exception to the rule no that's what I am hoping for my son that he realized because I told him when you're 18 years old you graduated okay. high school you have a job you're going to college you, I'll give you the key. You come home whenever you want. You're doing everything right. See, I don't so, like that though. This is where we don't agree. Right. We have to agree to disagree. And not for come twenty-seven dollars a not not for twenty-seven dollars a week. Well, I think if he's once, going to college. Think, but but see, I don't know your circumstance, and you know what? Forget all that. Family family come first. If if, if listen, your son listens to the rules. He does. Everything he's supposed to do, God bless you. Oh, see, Dusty's God daughter, she was she was mad because I didn't have the money for her birthday. See, that's di it's different. See, it's different for everybody. Every I say kids, right? Everybody has their own journey, uh, their own story. Thank you. So, what I'm hoping, I don't want my son to leave. 
I, I want him to stay here. I want him to go to college. I don't want him to move out. But if he chooses to move out, See, then there's the nothing we can do. Bit. See, he thinks, Kilo thinks, because he left when he was 18 and he never came back. No, that's not what I think. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Tell I me what think, you think. I think um, as a child, right, this is what I think. In order for a child to want to, to literally do whatever he wants to do, he has to be on his own. So, I have a hard time giving my son a lot of freedom that I never had. It's weird to me because I didn't have it. So, it's it's weird to give my son <laughs> the keys the keys of being a man while he still lives under the protection of his mom and dad. A man. <laughs> really, Raven? A man is supposed to guide himself. He's supposed to be ready to provide a living for family. So... I kind of want him to leave so he can understand the full picture. Because like I was saying, my son loves us. and He's, he's not still, ready to leave, We're guys. lucky. Like, he still thinks we're cool. Like, what kids still think you're cool at 18? You know what I'm saying? But our son still thinks we're cool. He don't like rules. But of course he, he don't doesn't like have the full picture of what life is about because we made things look so easy. And we don't really give him any responsibility. That's we true. give him a lot of freedom, but we don't really give him a lot of responsibility. We give him a lot of trust, and he's a great kid. He lives up to the trust. So I kind of want him to see the world is evil. He thinks it's easy because we made it look easy. Um, My fear is this. He says, Ma, why are you trying to make it seem like life is so hard? Like... <laughs> life is real life like it's real right. out there Tony like, like I'm not gonna sugarcoat it for you it's not it's not what you think it is right. did you think about this did you think about that when he came home telling me that his dean or somebody he goes to for um advice for like after school um like after he graduates they're supposed to help him with his career guide the dude told Tony to open up a liquor store. Yep. Tony said, I want to open up a liquor store. Okay. He the point was, with, he, came, he wants he to came, have a business, which is great. And he came to us with this great idea. Yeah, I have a great idea, Ma. I'm going to open up a business, and it's going to be a liquor store. We're like, and what? Mr. So-and-so said that was a great idea. I'm, I'm like, like, what? Right, you're eight, You're almost 18 years old, and he's telling you that that's a great idea to open so up a liquor told store? told you that? Yeah. Uh, Guys, for real, nobody's going to steer your kid right except for you. Exactly. And if you did the best you could, that's all you could do. That's and then you just do. wait for them to, to live their life, it's, it's learn their lessons, learn, and come, and that's come what, back. That's, what, that's the point that I was getting to. For them to learn understanding. Because you made it look easy. So they're like, man, what the hell are you talking about, right? <laughs> they need life to smack them in the ass. All right. <laughs> For a bad example. Hold on, hold on. Mm -hmm. Hold on, listen. Read her comment. Go ahead, you read it. Laugh out loud. I'm serious. I'm going to say, if you want me and want there to be an us, I need you to pay attention to Kilo. He is the master and you are Leroy. <laughs> Laughing my <laughs> ass off. First date, dead ass. That's <laughs> she funny. said when she finds a man. Oh, my God. You're killing me, Raven. You are killing That's me. That's funny. Uh, I gotta remember you. Do you have a channel? I gotta subscribe to your channel. You're funny as shit. <laughs> but for real, we gotta lead ourselves right. All right, you know? Amy. Thank you for coming and hanging with us. We gotta get off too. It's it, to it's one o'clock, and I love you guys. I'm glad that you. Do all we have stuck. to get off? I'm having a good time. I'm not even sleepy. Who's tired? Who's tired and wants Let's us to get off? We'll, we'll get, get off, off if everybody else wants to get off. But Listen, it's like 7 o'clock like in the talk, morning. Other see, places. I like talking about this real stuff. Remember I was saying it earlier? Like, people um, rely on the drama. See, I wouldn't be the other <laughs> end of that spectrum. Dave's still up. Dave said, I would have punched that cat in his throat. What'd the cat do? Somebody chopped him. What'd the cat do? The cat was all over me. He was sexually harassing me over here. <laughs> I needed my space, yo. That cat. And then he turned, you know what's worse about having a cat? They always turn around and put their butt near your face. And you're like, wait, what? Hey, Bobby. What's going on here? Bobby's on. See, we can't. Look. I'm not even sleeping, Nelly said it's only 10 here. Nelly is like 1 o'clock in the morning over here. Good thing. It, good it's thing 10 o'clock. No, we hanging no, out with Nelly. There's no school tomorrow. Wait, Nelly or? Dave, is it okay? We can go on Sunday? 
To go see um Glass. Don't say no. To go see Glass. Kilo, I haven't hold on. I haven't seen my little guy. Do you want to talk about it someday on your channel? Little guy with my lizard? I haven't seen my little guy. Do you want to talk about it someday on your channel? I hope this is a getting sexual over here because I'm feeling a little weary he about has that a, comment right now. He has a oh he has a little guy up there going with this with a weight. You were supposed to be working out. Actually. With Lalo. Actually. Right? I got some videos that I do want to... Okay, he actually I, was working out, Big. Yo, Big, I was putting it down. He really was listen, I he do got, got a couple of videos. That, exactly. I was that, like, what are you doing? Point. He was doing PX90. Yo. He was doing it with I the was kids. I get the kids motivated. They got me motivated. It's hard, yo. Let me tell you. The older you get... He said, nah, my seed, my son... No. <laughs> Lalo? He's on my Lalo? Let me tell you, Lalo is diesel, bro. He is. And I'm scared because he wants to buy Dave's not tired. Years. Damn, Dave. What time are you going And he's there? getting more diesel and I'm getting more weaker. Hey, Phyllis. And I'm getting a little nervous. Yeah, Dave. Hey, you, yeah. I might have to box him early just because I'm, I'm feeling kind of fresh right now. I think I could take him right now. Hey, Carmen. But in Thank two you, more babe. years, I don't know. He might. He might whoop my ass. I don't know. <laughs> he is gonna whoop your ass. He might. I might have to cheat. I'm about to hit him with the low blow, quick uppercut. Like, bum, bum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's, gonna, he's gonna be ready for that. Too. Oh, we street fighting? Oh, my bad. I thought I thought we were fighting like real life. Okay, Dave said Sunday's good. Okay, because that's the cheap night. That's the cheap one. We gotta go up here though. Well, Dave, I'm gonna hit you up tomorrow. And Our we'll car's find, running. And we'll so. talk about times that'll work for for us and um. Man, I'm ready, bro. What's y'all zodiac signs? Tell you right now, I'm, I'm ready. an Aries, and he's a Leo. But I do want to say this because one of my subscribers, which is also your subscribers, oh, I, don't, I wish I knew her name. What? Tell me who. What I she don't said. remember. Miss D. But I think it's like Monica Gnomes. Okay. Did Monica. I say that right? Okay. Gomes. Okay. Is it Monica? What about her? Ew, she I said that. I know. Oh, excuse me. I was very nasty. I apologize. <laughs> She told me that her and her family had saw glass and they had mixed feelings about it. But then she had later saw that I had did a review and said to watch the first two movies. So I do want to suggest maybe before you go to see glass, you need to understand what you're going to watch. So go see Unbreakable and then go see Split. Then you'll be ready for that movie. Because um, lesson alert, I feel like if you don't watch those two movies, you're going to be lost. And you're not Look gonna at my movie. eyeballs. My eyeballs are red. <coughs> What's Big talking about? Big, what are you talking about? Oh, my throat's dry again. Melissa, can I ask you, submit, how do you still carry on when every door is closed if you get me? That's something. How do you, how do you still carry on when every door is closed if you get me? Because she understands that not every door is closed. It's just her, her vision is foggy. Because she's going through something. Mm. As long as she keeps reaching, she gonna find an open door. So That's remember that the doors aren't all the doors open. Life is all about that. You you open one door, and you'll it's just find an always open door. a new doors. Yeah, you'll find one. And when you find that one, that's when you you travel your your furthest adventure. That's right. You go and you that. keep going. You'll find it. Eventually, right. you'll find it. Do you never lose hope? That's all. Never lose hope. Always know, today is not good, maybe tomorrow's not good, but one day, one day it's going to be a fucking great day. And you're going to carry on that day, and you're going to enjoy that whole day, and you're going to hold on to it. And then there's going to be another good day. And then another good day. Right. Because then, then you learn to condition your mind. Oh, Humble said Split was the bomb. Split was really good. I saw Unbreakable and Split. I'm ready for Mr. Glass. Good. Yes, we are too. We're All going right. to see right. Mr. So Glass. Did I, so did I. I refreshed myself. We're going it's with funny because I... Go bro, ahead. bro Play Games. We're going to... You guys see he's on the channel, Bro Play Games. We're going with him. So Yo, you will subscribe be to this dude. Listen, I don't understand why he doesn't have more subscribers, guys. We He needs our help. He needs your help. Because I ain't popular neither. <laughs> he needs your help. <laughs> because let me tell you, this dude has been doing it for a while. And it's interesting content. He does. He's a family guy. He does it with his with his um, with his sons. I don't understand why we're not um, supporting this individual. Bro, play I games. Am. 
Don't think about it. Be about it. Subscribe today. You know what I'm saying? And then tell a friend. Oh, and tell a friend. Okay, okay, okay. All right? Introvert. Okay, Big Hump said introvert. Just checking in. Big is saying, can we build on father's perspectives on Kilo Critics? Flip side all day. And see, I'm glad you said that. because He I would want, love to do that shit. I want to expand. Once again, that's why I said, that's why the channel's called Kilo Forgotten. That's my rap name, but in essence, there's a lot of there's a lot of deep shit behind the meaning of Kilo Forgotten. And I do want my page to be more. And you know what? You're right. And I've been thinking about that more and more every day. It's just unfortunately, I'm sick and work. But the page is gonna grow, huh? Think it was. And we up. are gonna and I'm and I am gonna try to be more motivational and, and, and try to inspire my peoples. Because you know what? At the end of the day, that's what I'm about. When, when I pass on, all right, and I and I return back to this earth and my soul go back and back to God, people are gonna have great things to say about Kilo. Um, all right? Kilo because Forgotten gonna, is his I'm, channel's name. I'm gonna inspire people. I'm gonna leave a mark on people. Listen, I'm not gonna you're not gonna hear about me like Jay Z. This world, like a hundred years from now, people are not gonna be talking about Kilo. They're going to be talking about Jay-Z. They're going to be talking about no, Rihanna. All right? But, I'll, but I'm going to be the forgotten one. That's that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to impact people. I want to inspire people. That's what I'm about. That's what I want my page to be about. But the movie thing was more of a way of just opening that door. How do I? I was opening that door. There was a lot of fear with that. Black chat, top chat, super chat. Let me let me open it anyway. And there's a whole um, new hallway down there. But man. Bro play game said I work forty hours and I don't have time to edit all the time. Listen, like I said, I know. It's, Thank it's you, tough. Steph. Thank you, Stephanie. Bobby, um Stephanie wrote it in the in the comments right there. Kilo Forgotten is his channel name. No doubt. And that's just that's just the name. And my page is a my, my page is a baby page. I can admit that. Thank you for everybody I'm who learning. thumbs up this video. But I definitely I appreciate you. I definitely want to try to utilize. <laughs> that's, that, that's that Randy right there. You don't even have no more. I nah, know. I still got a whole bottle. No, being I'm such sick, a lightweight. I could I could have drunk drunk way more than my mm -hmm. my usual limit. Oh, being sick? Why? Because maybe no. your sickness is taken away from for your real, tipsy like, feeling. Yo, for real. But that's what I want to be about. I want to be impactful. I want to leave. Oh, Anne Marie. A message behind. I want to. I want to leave a bunch of other people in power too. I'm not, oh, Crystal. Hey. I'm just, I'm just a reminder. That's it. I just remind you I of the greatness shirt. that you have. Go ahead, baby. Sorry, it's not. No, I mean, I try to talk to them while you're talking and making a statement, but I got this shirt from RainbowShop.com. Okay. Actually, I actually went to Rainbow. Say it again. And it say was it again. Rainbow Shop. Dot com. com. Head over there. Yep. Okay, and this was only three bucks. Three bucks. Yes, and I got a little hood. Look, I got a bunch of stuff for three dollars because three dollars is my price. I look crazy right now because I got this little thing on top of my head, and I thought it was a uh, a half shirt, but it's it's not. It actually goes to she look good right guys. under under my belly button. I probably shouldn't be wearing these pants because you probably could see right. Which is through. good for me. She's I can't wear them out. I'm home. But she's home. Yes, because if I wore them out, he'd be like, mm, I'm like, well, bend girl, over. You better get them <laughs> pants oh, see your booty. Yeah. But anyway, you guys don't see my butt, so it doesn't matter. But yeah, $3. Well, I think I'm about to go on Rainbow. When I was at the store, I was telling them before. When I was at the store, she told me, on RainbowShop.com, there is better deals and way more stuff to look through than what they had on the clearance rack for three bucks. So, just saying, head on over there. Somebody else just went there and said they they spent like seventy bucks and she got her money's worth. That's awesome. Bro. I'm gonna go there. I'm, I'm gonna order some more stuff. I wish guys could. For three dollars, you can't you can't beat it. Now I don't know how much the um the shipping is, but even if I it's five it. bucks, even if it's five bucks, how are they with plus size? They're good. They do have plus sizes. They're good. I think they go yeah. up to, I'm um, thinking like 3X. So, Kilo with the side eye, I can't with y'all. You side eyeing me? A side eyed? He side eyed me? I'm innocent, guys. I just what? 
Today's my first day on the job. I just got here. Wait, let's see. Let's pretend we're doing drama. Let's pretend like we're like fighting and let's see how many subscribers we get on here just because we want to do a test drive, guys. Nah, I don't want to do that. <laughs> <I'll pretend. laughs> oh my god! How how you wanna do that to me? What? I know you didn't. Give me that bottle so I could get Is it going up? Is it going up? Is it going up yet? You don't open this soda because this soda will um that shit will explode. That cap will poke you in the eyeball. That soda will explode. You're gonna, it didn't you work. gonna lose the eye and shit. It didn't like work. Like the kid from the Christmas story. Didn't work, guys. I didn't do it for long enough. Leave him alone. He's sick. He's suffering. Yeah, right. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh damn. Kilo. Oh, damn. Kilo. Oh, yeah. Neck's not broken. No, nah, not at all. Oh, God. It's just, it's funny because... Oh, it started off when I just kept sleeping the whole day. <coughs> oh, like, my God. He real. slept. He slept. But now it's just right here. It's just in my face. I hate it. So uncomfortable. Order, um, order with PayPal account it's free to do paypal rainbow rainbow's legit if you go on rainbowshop.com it's legit yeah, anything else it's not like order order it it's there. not from china or anything and um uh, for the i don't know who asked about the plus size yeah but if you see the video of melissa in the actual store that whole left side was all plus sizes the razor sideburn show them how it's done you already know guys you know, <laughs> razor blade, uh, what would be the the side, the, si the side You know what I'm saying? I stay fresh. Everybody else want to come with the big beard. I can't see. I told you he I did like, have a beard. I like to be different. He had, he though, had a beard for a minute. I did it for a little while. Then I thought to myself, you know what? Why do I look? Why do I want to look? You know like what? Everybody else? Self. I thought to myself. Yeah, I said, I said self. I said you know what, Kilo? Why you want to look like everybody else? This shit don't make no damn sense. Cut it back to the nineties. That's it. I'm calling this the 90s. I liked you with the beard, though. Your face looked all chubby. Yeah. I always like him to look bigger than me. When everybody else stopped wearing the beard. Then you get Oof. the beard. That's all I am, too. Popping right out. Be out there with the pink and shit. You know what I'm saying? Picking it all out. Hey, yo, what's Gucci? I got to be different. I'm sorry. That's just me. I just... Sing I, that I, song. I'm different. I don't follow, yeah, I don't follow the wave. You know what I'm saying? Different. I just... I'm different. I... I, I you know... I, I think a life I think a life as a snow a snow uh scenery. And every time I step, I'm leaving footprints. And then the ones who love me follow those footprints. It makes it easier for them to um, go down the road of life. Eventually, they'll start their own footprints. But I don't follow nobody else's footprints. That's just Kilo though. I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm just saying that's me. Mm. All right, guys, so I'm going to end the vlog now because it is it is getting late and I don't want to be tired tomorrow. Aw, Marion, thank you. She said we're cute together. Melissa, I feel so powerful now. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Anne -Marie, I like that. Say that again. Say I'm, it loud. Say it proud. I'm proud of you. Stay in that mind frame and That's just right. remember. And you know what? I'm going to keep this live up. So next time you need to hear it, go back, fast forward it, Listen to what you need to listen to, whatever, and take that with you and don't forget it. Don't forget it because you are important. That's right. Every morning, look right in that mirror. Remind yourself. That's right. And you find your motivation. That's all. Your flaws is what make you beautiful. You got this. We all got this. Come on. When they say you can't rock the do-rag. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> right you guys want to know a story? <laughs> Tell them the story about... Um, look, I just said I was going to leave, too. What story? Tell them the story about your job. Where they didn't want, they asked you. I don't know if I should because people from my job might be watching here and they're going to hold my story against me. Okay, well, tell it tell it the way that, that you told them. Well, listen. <laughs> we ain't getting off yet, Raven. A lot of people ask, like, yo, do you wear your do rag at work? Well, yes, yes, I do. But check this out. I'm very <laughs> passionate about my do rag. I, I got to wear my do rag all the time. So they questioned me about my do rag. You're welcome. I Arena. told them it's for religious reasons. They asked you, is that, do you wear it for a religious Yo, reason? And you out. agreed. No job can refute. I, I'll catch you on the flip side stuff. A religious uh, belief. So, <laughs> I don't know if this is good or bad. I'm sorry. I don't hey. know if it's good or bad, but it's real. It is real. So, I, I can wear my do-rag because it's 
It's a reli- it's Listen, a religious Listen, his boss uh, came thing. up to him and said, we like you, and whatever will make you happy, we'll do, because we want to keep you here. Well, that was the big dude, yeah. Yeah. He was dope. So he put the paperwork in, so yeah, so... Mm-hmm. He got to wear his do-rag. So that's what's up with the but, do-rag. Because I got to wear the do-rag. Because when you don't wear the do-rag, it just pulls your hair, a little button. It only yeah, got a little bit that? of hair left, yo. I got to protect that? my shit, bro. That's my man, Keela. Channel ish pimping. True stories. <laughs> yep. True Jobs. stories. He got a lot of stories. He needs to not hold back on his real stories. That's what he needs to do. You need to tell some of them back, back stories. <laughs> I feel like the backstories are what I use for my kids. Those are my life lessons. I tell my kids all the embarrassing life stories, so that way they can. I don't say they're them. embarrassing. But, they're true stories. But uh, for my peoples, it's all words of encouragement. It's like, yo, we got this. <laughs> Raven said that's a true story. I told my job, I'm Moorish. Yo, Amish or Moorish? Listen, you got So yo. I could get every Friday off. <laughs> yo, I'm saying, oh, so real? Yo, because they can't uh, question it. It's against policy. They can't be like, uh, like you just gotta look dead in the eyes, like, yeah. Oh, this. Any advice this on isn't, this isn't a do right. Any advice on how to make it twenty it's years? Religious. Fight to stay together. Fight to stay together. That's all we can say is fight to stay together. Don't lose hope. Yeah, because sometimes you're gonna fight. people, sometimes people mess up, and you have to think in your head: Is it worth it? Is it worth it? That's what you have to say. If it's and, worth and, it, then you fight. And you have to be a firm believer and. Of karma, which means Melissa Lopez. If you do it, it's gonna be it's okay for it to be done to you. Oh, uh, Moorish is I never even knew Moorish was a religion. There's so many religions. Well, you know what? I might just become Moorish so I can start getting every Friday off too. Shoot, no, you need Fridays. You need to make that to that the right, hours. Though. Yeah, yep. you're right. But whatever. Yes, humble chick. Yes, you fight to stay together. Okay, yes. let's talk about. But this. you gotta believe in karma because I'm saying, listen. If you with your man, it didn't show up. It's a business page. It should have showed up. Check on um, okay. Melisandra Lopez and see what you find under there. Um, it should be on. It should be there. Or you can get me on if you go. Yeah, it should be there. Or find me on Instagram, Melly two thousand four. You'll catch me on Instagram definitely. You catch me on the flip side. Right? Melly two thousand four is me on Instagram. If anybody wants to talk to me, go there, or you can go on Snapchat. So it's Instagram or Snapchat. Or you can become our pet pal. Amory PO box. <laughs> Amory, my PO box is in the it's in the description. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Write her a letter. All right, Mimi's life. I'm not really. I'm on Snapchat more than I am Instagram. But if you want to get in contact with me, go to Instagram. Like if you want to, you know, share anything private with me, go to Instagram Messenger, and I'll be able to. That pops up right away. Hey, Kayla. Kayla, you're coming right at the end, babe. We've been on for so long, right, guys? <laughs> We've been on for an hour and a half, and before that, we were on for an hour and a half. So, um, what was I going to say? I was going to say something else. Uh, I'll save that for another another live, though. Oh, that's okay. That's all right. I was on twice. One time I got booted off somehow. And then um, and then I got me, back I, on. I unplugged the internet by mistake, guys. Yeah, that's right. He unplugged the internet Oopsie. on me. But check this out. I really didn't do it, though. I unplugged something else. And then all of a sudden, we lost all that connection. got affected. Wait, mm -hmm. uh, and you killed it. And I had to take the blame, blah, blah, blah. Yes, you are going to let us get off. Because <laughs> <laughs> mama got to go to sleep. Oh, God, I had a long day. Moorish on Fridays when you want off. Guys, claim your Moorish if you want Fridays off. Just saying. There you go. You gotta look up yes, the eyes, I'm tired. Though. Well, I'm 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 tipsy, but I am tired, and I'm getting off now. So you can stay on if you want. Yeah. Get off. Too, no, guys. you can't tell everybody everything all in one day. Okay. Get it off too. Yeah, it's true. We're getting off, guys. My knowledge comes in portions because, <laughs> like life, you must plant the seed. Then allow the seed to plant its own roots. 
Ooh, I like that. See, me and my wifey, we just tell you stuff. But it's up to you guys to let those roots set in. Ooh, I like that. All right, we're getting <laughs>